Well, I've made it to the Mitsui Siki booth, guys, and I got this famous face. You know him, Tyler. Everyone knows you at this point, don't they? Yeah, hopefully by now. You've been doing this long enough, right? Absolutely. And as much as you guys enjoy Tyler and I, this is about the machine. This is about technology. This is about precision. This is about innovation. Did you know 600 years? 600 years might not make sense to you yet, but Tyler's going to explain all of this and why this Mitsui Mashiki machine might be the machine of your now and not just the future. Tyler, 600 years, what does that mean? Yeah, you know I'm just so spitting in here so the very you know if you're at IMTS or you know if you get some time even to research us there's a lot of really good history on the logo for Mitsui Seiki and it really has a really true great meaning um, the company has been around for a very long time we got our start really it was a progression into machine tools but it all started at the the need and demand for precision measuring equipment so back in the 1920s that's where we got our start and then very quickly gravitated into the early 30s to precision machining centers. So we built one of Japan's very first ultra precision jig bore machine, which is a little nickname, a mother machine. So a mother machine is able to make babies, right? A machine tool accurate enough to make other machining centers. So that really does a good segue into why we're standing here in front of the Vertex machine. Yeah, and we bring this up, Tyler and I, because Mitsui Siki is very, very accurate machine and they have a group of people who love 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 their machines but this is the opportunity to show the world what Mitsui Siki is doing and I'm happy to be speaking with Tyler today and we're gonna show you firsthand what this machine looks like invite you inside to the, of the machine itself so Tyler let's just go over a couple of the overview of what this machine is capable of doing and producing for folks out there before they get to see it firsthand yeah so many may not be familiar with who Mitsui Seiki is but really our our specialty is uh, critical rotating engine components for aircraft engines. So in order to make those type of parts, you need to be able to hold and achieve very tight tolerances. The run times on a lot of those components are over 60 hours sometimes. So to be able to run a machine unmanned and make that critical of a component without scrapping that very, very expensive part, you need a machine tool to this caliber. And I think the industry has really grown into every machine shop has a five axis machining center right now. And, and I like the, the analogy of crawl, walk, run. And why you would want to look at a, a Mitsui Seiki Vertex machining center of five axis is really you need that ultra accuracy. Maybe your parts don't, but you're trying to run unmanned for a long period of time and you need a machining center that's capable of doing that. Let's go ahead and invite the audience inside, yeah, take please. a look at the machine. But while they're doing that and looking inside, Tyler, and I know you want to yep. go over some of the details of the machine itself, yep. but you know how frustrating it is to have to take a part out of a machine and then either fix it after measurement or secondary, third, operations, extra polishing, deburring, all yeah. of that stuff. We just don't have the manpower no, anymore, right? No. And that's where Mitsui Siki comes into play. It's those done in ones, those one and dones. I yep. mean, that's what we want is to take a raw material, machine it and then put it into a box when and yeah. where we can exactly exactly no it's we get tired saying it right but there's fewer and fewer people at some point you would think we'd have a flood of people because we're trying it's a great man industry, we're darn right? sure trying oh man yep um but really that's what it all is about it's the big picture thinking right is the fewer operator and interventions you have fewer scrap all of that that means better profit so yes we didn't build our name and reputation off being the cheapest machine tool on the market we built it on being one of the best most accurate most reliable machining centers so it's running you're making good parts that first time off and that's creating you profits absolutely so. right so we got a camera inside of here yeah. for you let's look inside the machine and let's drop some of these yeah. incredible specs that i know mitsui yeah. siki is known for yep so we talk about accuracy what does that actually mean so if you could peel back the the sheet metal on the machining center you could see it's actually a box type construction so where the top saddle where the spindle rides on that's got full support through full stroke so you're not going to get any droop or anything like that again for longer cycle times or even short runs too but it's going to be able to maintain that accuracy with the xyz movements now down to the trunnion again cradles supported on both sides very heavy duty cast iron uh, casting the casting is all made of meonite cast iron hand scraped uh, we even can achieve a jig bore scrape on a lot of our machining centers. And what does a jig bore scrape mean? That's 25 points of contact in one inch. Um, it takes a very, very, very high level skilled craftsman to be able to do that and do that on a machining center. Not only a jig bore or jig grinder, but we apply that to our machining centers. We build one of the most accurate trunnions in the world. Uh, most five axis machines, questions when you're starting to investigate a new machining center. 
um, especially a five axis, is to ask what kind of repeatability and what kind of positioning accuracy you're able to achieve in that trunnion. So um, machining centers have anywhere from 20 to 30 arc seconds for positioning and repeatability down to our level where we're able to achieve some of our machining centers at half arc second tilt and rotary. Ooh. So what does that mean? Well, Tony, you know, the further away you get from your center of rotation, any kind of inaccuracy that you have there, the more errors are introduced. What does that mean to a customer? Well, you need more work offsets in order to maybe shift parts into geometry. With a Mitsui Seiki, you don't need to monkey around with that. It's, you program a part and you tell it to position there, it's gonna go there within tenths, um, most often, sub-micron repeatability on that, so. You are not monkeying around yeah. here. That is for darn sure. I want to speak really quick. I've seen so many videos about five axis technology where they measure the precision, but right next to the workpiece. I yep. mean, right next to the work holding that's yeah, holding yeah, the workpiece, yeah. right on the table, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty easy to get that accuracy when yeah. you're on the table. It is what happens when you put a part on there or an extension of a work yeah, holding yeah. and you get further away from that table. And that's where you guys come into play. This is I'm five, 10, 15 inches away from my part, from my yeah, center yeah. of, of gravity as I might say, yeah. that center area, yep. I am now not quite as accurate in a lot of areas as I will be on a Mitsui Seeking. Yep, well even if you notice, we custom build our own saddles, um, you'll notice if you really take a good look at it, the center of rotation line, we actually dip down our saddle below that, so by the time you put work holding on it, a part, you're going to be closer to that center of rotation for those ultra precision parts. But again, with accuracies in our trunnion, if you do have a larger component with those minimal errors, uh, you're going to be able to achieve those accuracies. So, yes. All right, Tyler, I want to talk about something that's sometimes the unsung hero as we continue to grow into automation. And you can yep. tell from the camera work my guy is doing right now how big this automation cell is. Yeah. But I do not want to forget about that tool changer I'm yeah. seeing in there right now because yep. if I'm running automation and a pallet chain system, System, as we all know at this point can be high mix and low volume which means I can have a different job on every single pallet but if I don't have enough tools to yeah, cut all those different yeah, jobs then I'm wasting my yeah, time anyway exactly. yeah, so let's you know talk that. a little bit about the importance of automation what it can bring yeah, to the yeah. table and the tool change system and what it offers to support yeah, that and I'll even back up really the, the automation system we chose it really derived from a great partner uh, with Trinity Robotics They've, they've been around for over 10 years. They do a great job at this, but why we wanted to partner with them is, you mentioned we have all these legacy customers around the world that have Vertex machines, and they maybe started with a standalone machine. Well, as they grow, we wanted to be able to field retrofit a system on here, and by doing that, introducing more pallets, the machining center is very costly, expensive, and sometimes takes the machine down for a long time to be able to retrofit more tools on. So we figured, why don't you guys come up with a, a concept that we could maybe bolt on a pallet system with not only pallets, but then tools too. So we've introduced 12 pallets, and with that, this machining center specifically has 40 tools, but now with adding the pallet system, uh, we've also added in 80 additional tools. So a total of 12 pallets, 120 tools. So very important for us to make sure that those machines in the field are taken care of and still running because they're designed to last a very, very long time. Yeah, very well said, Tyler. Is there yep. anything I haven't asked you today that you'd like to convey to the audience? We've nailed precision. We've nailed reliability. Damn. We've nailed the foundation of the company. I'm all about that base as well, just like the song say and the base that you have here. Damn. We've talked automation. Is there anything we didn't convey that you'd like to close this conversation out with today? I think um, the most important thing I'm trying to say is um, I know machining centers are expensive, but I really want people to take time to step back and think of the big picture. How much time is spent by not only production managers, programmers, machinists themselves on selecting a piece of equipment, but really think of the big picture of if you buy it, maybe spend a little bit more up front. That's going to make you a lot more in the long run, big picture. So something to keep in mind and really, you know, try to think smarter, not necessarily um, in the, the short term to make a quick buck or save a couple bucks, but maybe to make some more money. You know, you buy a, a machining center, you invest in a Mitsui Seiki, it sometimes opens doors for parts that you maybe couldn't make before. And again, a chance to maybe be more profitable. Yeah, Tyler, if it's okay with you, I'd like yeah. to expand on that as we close sure. this out because that is so freaking important, my yeah, friend. Yeah. We are not thinking about today, tomorrow, a year from now. We're thinking about our kids and our grandkids. Yeah. Tyler said it best, bringing in parts we couldn't machine before, making sure we're taken care of. It is price per 
part, that price up front, how much labor is missing right now. These are all the Man. components of why investing in machines like this will change the dynamic of your machine shop. And that's why we do this, right? Yeah, correct. You know, and I'll even I'll, <laughs> I'll We're steal gonna play it. off each other yeah, for a right? while. We can right? talk about this all day, but Tony, I'll just say, you know, what does a machining center cost you, right? Think of that it that way, maybe, right? With downtime, unplanned downtime, maybe scrap parts, and, and what that does to your shop, right? As a big almost the ecosystem if we will right so that's it that's all i really got the ecosystem we got yep. here on camera as Thanks, well Tony. i appreciate, appreciate you, you tyler yep. thank you all for watching thank i hope you. this has been beneficial mitsui siki is that name that maybe you've heard of maybe you haven't but it's something you need to do more research on because there's something here for you that just might change your machine shop